Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be unboxing and what to expect video for the MI neckband Bluetooth earphone. Now let's go ahead and see what all do we get with this. Now you have the classic MI uh, packaging. So nothing different, your orange, white and black combination. So let's go ahead, open this up. Okay, so let's look at what do you get in the box. So basically you get the neckband itself, a flat charging cable, which is a regular micro USB one. So this is not a type C device and you get two extra set of earbuds. So you get the, la uh, the large and the small, the medium one is already connected on this. It's already been put here. So we'll be going ahead and testing it. Now this looks like uh, the earphone actually looks like the uh, $699 uh, or the $399 one. Let me just show you that. Okay, so that's the 399 one. This uh, looks more like the 699 earphone. So if it's that, then it should have good dynamic bass. The sound should be clear in that aspect. So let me go ahead, test it, and then we'll be talking about this later on. Okay, so I used it for 10 days. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, what I actually found. Now, let's talk about the physical overview first. Now, this is a neck band style earphone, which has a very different design. Now, this entire thing, uh, is rounded towards the inside and towards the outside it's flat uh, at the back it gives a slight curve so it actually grips your neck pretty good now this is meant for uh, people who uh, don't want this to move a lot uh, there are different versions like if you look at the skull candy this is a different design if you look at the oneplus this is a different design with very thin so a lot of people like this kind of design which is minimalistic some people like this kind of design where the entire thing is going towards the back but all of them are different designs have different uh, good and bad points to it now this one is a mixed one so it's not too big not too small so it's somewhere in between now i really liked this after i used it for a long time but in the starting i did not like it because it's so big actually there's no electronics involved in this it's just a wire and a band so this could have been much thinner but because of this form factor it actually grips my neck better so i now i like this form factor now on the left hand side there's nothing no buttons it's uh, this one contains the battery now this part is glossy plastic which actually doesn't look that bad uh, before I thought this will get dirty a lot uh, I mean scratched a lot but it did not get uh, too much of scratches uh, it's just that it gets smudged so I have to clean it again and again so the same kind of cylindrical uh, tube is over here which has the uh, volume control, the entire electronic, the volume control, the multifunction button. Now the multifunction button uh, is used for the power pairing, uh, the Siri, Google Now uh, activation, all of that is done over here. Now the volume control can actually control the uh, next, trap, uh, next track and previous track. So all of that is controlled from here. There are two holes, one here, one here. This is the mic and this is the LED notification which has red and blue in it. Now this is the charging port which has a flush uh, flap over here so it does not uh, you you will not be able to remove it just like that so but they have actually given a small cutout here where you can actually put your nail through it and then open it up now i do not have nails and even i can open it up very easily now this is a micro usb charging port somehow they did not put a uh, uh, type c in this i don't know why but uh, that would have been a welcome addition but that is not here so uh, that's basically how the uh, band actually looks like now let's take a look at the earphone now the earphone is uh, completely made of metal with plastic in front so this is the plastic part now you have a magnet at the back so this keeps uh, them together now this magnet does not have any special feature it will not pause or cancel or nothing so no feature involved with it is just for keeping both the earphones together when you're wearing it so uh, that's good uh, i would have wished that there was some function involved with it but it's okay for this price i'll not complain now uh, let's take a look at the wire now the wire is thin it's not too thin not too thick but this part is what i don't like this looks like this might get 
cut pretty easily but i can't comment right now once i use it for a long time only then i can comment on this one more thing about the earphone is now the magnetic part actually uh, removes the black color so when they touch together the color actually comes off in 10 days it has become like this so it is almost getting silver now so expect that now the bad thing about that is okay right now you can't really see it but when you're wearing it the discoloration will be seen by everyone so when you're wearing it this is what is shown outside so that is something i did not expect uh, most of the magnetic ones like uh, if i look at oneplus so the oneplus ones now this i've been using it for i uh, don't know how long maybe more than six months and you see nothing has happened to it now they have actually put a rubber uh, washer over here which actually does not allow this to uh, for the color to go but that was not done over here so uh, just expect that that this is going to happen no matter how nicely you use it the discoloration is going to happen okay now let's talk about the sound quality now the sound quality on this is balanced uh, now the mids are good the vocals are good uh, the trebles are good everything the start one Okay, so let's talk about the sound quality now. The sound quality on this is balanced. So if you're listening to music, like uh, anything with a lot of vocals, that will be very clear. If you're listening to something with a lot of instruments, treble, uh, that side is also very clear. If you're listening to something with a lot of bass, this is going to be average bass for you. It's going to be dynamic bass for you. It's not going to be like those uh, bass head kind of bass. Uh, it's not going to be like the other uh, super bass earphones from MI. It's not going to be any of that kind of signature. This is going to be a balanced signature. So uh, now there's a good thing and bad thing about it. Now uh, I enjoy uh, extra bass earphones more. But with this, uh, I can actually use it for a longer period of time. So uh, this actually says that it can go for eight hours. Uh, actually, we'll be talking about that later on. But uh, the sound quality on this is so good that you can actually uh, use it for the entire 8 hours and your ear will not pain. So uh, the fit on this is pretty good and the sound quality is good too. Now one more thing about the sound quality, uh, let's talk about the mic. Now the mic on this is very nice. Uh, the mic sound quality is very nice. When I talk on the phone, people are able to hear me very nicely. Uh, so the clarity is pretty good. I will be doing the mic sound test and then show you the entire real life video for that. So we'll be talking about that later on. Now let's talk about the battery life. The battery life on this is supposed to be eight hours. Uh, MI claims that it can go for eight hours, but that's like at uh, sixty percent or seventy percent volume. So I used it at hundred percent volume, and I was able to get six point five hours out of it. Uh, I mainly used it to listen to music, uh, a little bit of videos here and there, uh, but mainly to listen to music. A uh, little bit of phone calls, but uh, mainly it was all music, music, and music with heavy bass. But you will not be able to feel the heavy bass that much because this is dynamic bass. We spoke about that before. So. Uh, I really like the uh, the battery uh, battery backup on this. Now the second thing about that is if you are not using the earphone, it is connected to the Bluetooth. Uh, I mean, it is connected to a phone with a Bluetooth, but you are not using it. The battery does not get drained that fast. Like if I compare it with other non 5.0 uh, earphones, the battery on this is excellent. Uh, like uh, there are times when four days I did not even charge the battery and. Uh, it kept on going because uh, it goes into a low power mode and uh, your phone may be connected with this with the bluetooth but it will not use the bluetooth a lot so the bluetooth is not used that much i'm saying too much of bluetooth <laughs> okay so the initial impression on this is pretty good i actually enjoyed using this a lot uh, i did not uh, really feel the bass in it that much but when i'm traveling i would rather use this than a heavy bass one because uh, heavy bass one you cannot use it for a longer period of time now uh, 8 hours is actually pretty good for this kind of uh, form factor and this is actually small. So build quality good, sound quality is also very nice but uh, do not expect heavy bass from it. It's not going to be that much it's dynamic bass, uh, more close to the HD bass which is uh, uh, which has a punch like a very tight punch. It will not go vibrating so that is not there. If you're a fan of that do not buy it. There are other earphones for that. Uh, mostly wired, non-wireless. -wi uh, you don't get bass head series earphones that much. Okay, so uh, that's basically it. Uh, I will be doing the rest of the test and then showing you that later on. And we'll be talking about rest of that in those videos. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment. And I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.